8.30. Time for prayers from the attic. Oh, the leaves are off that those branches. You can really see the clock now, huh? See the town clock. Welcome to St. Paul's Church in Nantucket. Up we go to the attic. Up we go. Meat boy, you coming up? Let's see. Hey, Ali, you okay, baby? Hello there. Get flowers from Sunday. Look at that. You got some. I think I guess oh, these are dahlias, huh? Are those dahlias? Yes. Yeah. From Gorgeous. Flowers on chestnut. They really beautiful, beautiful flowers Big, for deep. altar flowers on Sunday. The red colors. Very nice. Sweet, huh? Sweet. That's Mr. Rogers over there. Here we go. Up we go, Ali. Usually three seconds of my palm. Okay, there we go. Hi, Christine. Thanks, Christine, for your faithfulness. <laughs> so where am I? It's a warm night tonight on Nantucket. It's very, um, I'm hot, actually. I know. It's hot outside. Like the it's like on muggy. It. Yeah. And foggy. It's, it looks like it rained, but I don't think it did. It's not just Is the that fog. Is that just fog? It's, it's, it's certainly like damp. Do. The bricks, the sidewalk was damp. Yeah, so. Oh, gosh. But, um, beautiful nonetheless. Good. <sighs> okay. I don't know if anyone's going to be with us tonight. I know Penny's going to join us, but we'll keep it on for a few everyone's, minutes and see. Everyone's got better things to do. Oh, Ollie. <laughs> We're so unpopular now. I guess. At least it's us and Christine, so we can <laughs> our, our, our ever faithful Christine. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Yeah, how was your day, Ollie? Good. I spent it um, resting. Good. That's Napping really good. Napping and reading and recovering, writing notes to people and stuff like that. Oh, Mellow. Notes, yeah. Mellow. So. Good. How about had a lot your of day? had a lot of meetings. Um, yeah, many meetings. Good meetings, especially at the end of the day. Several meetings and uh, mission committee. We're starting our feeding ministry again tomorrow. Restarting our ministry. Mm -hmm. We have fifty-six dinners tomorrow. We have to stay with our chef. Um, 50 to 60, closer to 60 dinners every Wednesday. But we're just focusing on folks we know that could really use a good meal. And uh, these are hard times now in the off season, so. Yeah, so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh, oh Debbie. Good. Hi, Debbie. Debbie, we were down at the Gaza Strip. Ollie, two days ago, got mm -hmm. Gaza Strip for those out in TV land or at, the, at this. Um, Little way in between fencing and the beaches, uh, at, at our beach uh, where people can sit out of the windows. Ollie was there two days ago, alone, and then we saw all your all your friends there with yesterday. Debbie, they're looking for you, sitting out there. I don't know what time would that go with me. Well, later in the day on my day oh, off. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, kids. So one twenty-seven. Which might be one more minute for Penny, but oh, turned it off. Oh, turned it off. Okay. So 127 in the Book of Common Prayer, Article Compline. And um, yeah. My turn? Mm-hmm. Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let's confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, we, we have sinned against you through our, our own fault. fault in, in thought, thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Okay, Ali, our psalm tonight, I think is next. It's Psalm 147. 
It's found in your prayer book on page 804 in the Book of Common Prayer. If you're using your Bible, uh, 147th Psalm, verses 1 through 7. 1 through 7. Just so good seeing you. Thanks for all your emails and your follow up. 147 on page 804. I'll pray up to the asterisk and Ali and the congregation can uh, pray the rest of the verse. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him with praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted. And binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. And calls them all by their names. Great is the Lord and mighty in power. And there is no limit to his wisdom. The Lord lift up, his low, up the lowly. But cast the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Alleluia. All right. Um, okay, Ollie. Tonight, we now move on to the scripture reading. I think we're close up tonight, Ali. Is that okay? Um, I'm close. You're far away. Maybe that works best for the <laughs> camera. I'm, I'm face for radio. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Okay, we have a reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Um, chapter 4, I think. Chapter 4, verse 14. Then Jesus filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, returned to Galilee, and a report about him spread through all the surrounding country. He began to teach in their synagogues and was praised by everyone. When he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. Mm. He enrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, mm. to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the savior. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Mm. Then he began to say to them, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sweet. So yesterday we were not we weren't we're not here yesterday because um, it's Music Monday, but it's a feast of Saint Luke, um, and so we thought today would be worth um, celebrating that with Chris from the Attic, and Saint Luke is noted as of course as gospel writer, also writer of the Acts of the Apostles. I think you know according to our history, he probably never met Jesus, but was so inspired by Saint Paul and also by. His experience of, of the resurrected Christ in his life, that he reached out and um, was an incredible evangelist. He was noted for being a physician, which in the ancient world was probably different than our physicians, the ones that Ali had at Mass General Hospital, but also someone called and skilled in the art of healing. So we thought that we would celebrate that tonight a little bit. Uh, people called by God to the art of healing, which includes our social workers, our counselors, <coughs> Pardon bless you, Ali, mm -hmm. physicians, nurses, technicians, uh, therapists, all kinds of folks. Uh, chaplains, importantly, <coughs> bless you, Ali. Mm -hmm. Chaplains called, you know, part of the of that uh, of the art of healing. And so this, I love this passage. Ali and I years ago visited an artist friend of ours in southern New Hampshire, and she was painting icons. Uh, just started painting icons of Jesus, and um, 
and she was focused on this passage. And she said, you know, Max, what is the essence of this passage um, that Jesus read from the prophet Isaiah? Bring good news to the poor, recover to the blind, proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, right? The Jubilee year, um, where debt was forgiven in the Jubilee year. And also the crops were laid fallow so the, so the ground could, could replenish. And so I said, um, this is an amazing passage. And the essence of the passage, which is part of the essence of our faith, is the words, release to the captives. Release to the captives that, that Christ came to set us free from sin and death, that we're released. I loved when I, when I used to worship at the monastery in Cambridge, where Ali and I would worship every Sunday and also many Tuesdays for what they called a sung mass. So it's the Episcopal Monastery, the Society of St. John the Evangelist, and as you, so I served there too as, um, I guess what, I must have been a deacon, when I was an ordained deacon, I went to serve as a deacon there. They would do that for, for newly ordained people that were part of their fellowship. And so as you entered out into, from their sacristy, you know, where we vest, out to, to go into the, into the main altar, there's an icon, um, and it was an icon of, there's several icons there, and one was an icon of Jesus, um, resurrected um, and it showed um, people being resurrected around Jesus coming out of the tombs and they had they had chains um, on their wrists and and, uh, and ankles and the chains have been broken they were released from death right they were set free from death um, so it's such a beautiful image I think of um, released to the captives was set free from sin and death just by the work of God by the grace of God not by earning that and so, yeah, release to the captives. So we celebrate, Ali, of course, Ali does not want to talk about herself so much. We just came back from Mass General Hospital. Yeah, yeah. But also we're celebrating over, throughout our lives and also in our parents' lives, uh, the caregivers with them. Mm -hmm. I remember you know, years ago I was in the hospital in New York City for 10 days for some kidney surgery before um, kidney stone surgery was so... Um, revolutionized. Mm -hmm. They used to actually cut you open, you know, and take out kidney stones. And so I was in the hospital for 10 days. And I remember a nurse used to come in in the middle of the night, especially after my surgery in such severe pain. Aww. A nurse would come in in the middle of the night, which I could never really, it was dark, I could never really get an image of her. She was just an angel in the darkness that would come in. You were in pain after the surgery? Oh yeah, sure. Did I, they give you pain medication? They did eventually, yeah. I woke up and my mother was, was you know, screaming. Nurse, my son is in pain. Pain's part of life, Ollie. What can you do? It's part of life. But I remember this, again, this angelic nurse coming in in the middle of the night, which I never knew her name. Uh, also a chaplain coming in regularly, you know, to check on me during the daytimes. Um, angels. And so we celebrate, we, you know, we're so blessed to know people like Libby Tracy, um, out here in Nantucket, somebody, my, my, sister, my older sister, Judy is a retired nurse. So many nurses, doctors. You're, who's your doctor in um, Mass General Hospital? Ali? The electrician. Dr. Danik. Dr. Danik. I talked to Danik. Dr. Danik, I said, <laughs> as a friend said years ago, don't pray for me. I'll just be lying there. Pray for my surgeon. So Dr. Danik loved that, that we weren't praying for Ali as she was lying there. We were too. But praying for her surgeon, for the Holy Spirit to guide her surgeon. Um, in his art of healing. And so tonight we just wanted to, you know, we could, could, again, because of the Feast of St. Luke the Physician being yesterday, we want to celebrate those called to the art of healing. And I know my sister Judy always said, um, you know, nursing can be a thankless job because people are at their worst. And they're in crisis, they're in, that, in, the, in the hospital in a desperate situation, which she understood. But she also, I think it was hard on Judy that there was never a lot of um, thank yous. You know, we don't get to thank our caregivers enough. Often we're, we're just released from the hospital and uh, we, we, in retrospect we say, God, thank God those angels are there to help us through that, that crisis. Um, and so we, we just want to hold up the folks that um, call to the practice of, of healing and in our community now and throughout all the communities that we're, we're talking with tonight our wider community. Also, mental health issues are, are hard on people. You know, with this pandemic, people are feeling isolated. You know, they're 
extroverted people like me, they're feeling very isolated. Some of my introverted friends are saying, I love not having to see people. I'm just like staying home and reading and being, <laughs> being in my world. You know? right. Some of our folks, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> but for many, we're having, um, you know, there can be issues. People are struggling with depression. Um, and so we thank God for our counselors at Fairwinds, our friend Jeff, who often joins us most nights, um, dealing with our troops, help, helping with it, their mental health issues. Um, yeah, we have a crisis center here, a safe place that deals with people in crisis and, and you know, people that have been victimized. We thank God for our people dealing with not only our physical bodies, but our mental health also, which mm -hmm. is so interrelated, obviously. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so yeah, so God called, again, it's a, it can be a thankless job, sometimes a uh, frustrating job, I bet, but also I know people say they see little progress, they see how they've been able to help people you know, just meticulous steps to get towards uh, fuller health and how rewarding that is. So we thank God for that, Ali. People call to the art of healing mm. and the prevention of disease and pain. Mm. Yeah. So during these times, as every night, we pray for our scientists that are, you know, working to, to you know, work on cures and preventions, not only for COVID, but for the many, the many ailments out there in the world. And we ask the Holy Spirit to guide our doctors, our scientists, to greater wisdom, mm -hmm. and to um, and that we have, have a thankful heart for those that that care for us all. Right? Yeah, thankful heart. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So look at position. Okay, all of what do we have. Ah. Oh. Oh, and so we posted the wrong hymn, the right words though, but the wrong hymn, we realized, because Ali said, I don't recognize those notes going up and down yeah, the way they are. I didn't recognize anything. This. So at 637, yeah. rather than 636, same words um, by um, John Ripon's selection, 1787. No, it's kind of new for us, Ali. But this one, the music is Lions, yeah, by Hodden rather than foundation. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, for those of you that know your... Uh, well, 637 in the uh, <laughs> prayer book, and the same words, Hymnal though. Hymnal musicians. You ready? Ready? I hope so. Okay. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he has said, to you that for refuge to Jesus have fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O oh, be not dismayed. For I am thy God and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand. Upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of woe shall not be overflow. For I will be with thee, thy troubles to bless, and sanctify to thee thy deepest distress. When through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be thy supply. The flame shall not hurt thee, I only design thy dross to consume and thy gold to refine. The soul that 
that to Jesus have fled for repose. I will not, I will not desert to its foes. That soul through all hell shall endeavor to shake. I'll never That was good, Arlie. We knew that one. Okay. We knew that one. All right. Oh. All right. We're going to continue. Oh, thanks, Hi, Melissa. Melissa. I've been you. thinking about you, Melissa. Hi, Janet. Um, now what, Arlie? Okay, so we're on page 132, halfway down the page. Okay. All right. 132 of the Book of Common, Common Prayer. Hmm. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God. Protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is a prayer for doctors and nurses. Sanctify, O Lord, those whom you have called the study and practice of the arts of healing and the prevention of disease and pain. Strengthen them by your life-giving Holy Spirit, that by their ministries the health of the community may be promoted and your creation glorified. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. So we pray for um, Alessandra and Alexander in there because um, they're having a baby. So we pray for them. Aww. Help the yeah. baby girl, um, Cassandra, grandmother. I also want to um, ask for your prayers for um, Chris Moore, um, as per his wife Jan Janice. Um, he's uh, suffering from a detached retina, and um, Which we know in spades. Yes, yeah, his second time around. So I, I have a lot of sympathy for that, and so please keep him in your prayers. It's a, it's a long haul to get through that. Yeah. Um, and her, too. And, and so we'll too. add your prayers after. It's hard for us on our little screen. Sorry to engage in the prayers as much as we could. Um, on my list tonight, we pray for Ted and his family. We pray for Melissa and Diane. We pray for the children of our community um, and children all around the world during this horrible time. We pray for our Bishop Alan Gates and his wife Tricia and for our Suffragan Bishop Gail Harris. I pray for Bishop Benison too, my, our, our bishop friend. That. Yes, I we pray for our dear friend Bishop Benison. We pray for Paul from Madigan. We pray for Deacons Natalie, James, and Deacon Susan down in Delaware. We? we pray for the staff and volunteers of Nantucket Cottage Hospital and Fairwinds Counseling Center. And Safe Place Crisis Intervention. I pray for, Ke for Kelly, my regional canon, and also Terry, Thanksgiving for Terry, the dean of my local deanery. We pray for the Med Flight and Coast Guard crews. We pray for the medical community and research scientists around the world and especially Lucy's family serving those communities. Mm. And we pray for Lucy as she um, heals. 
Um, we pray for Peter's sister Nancy. We pray for Normand and Binth. We pray for Josie, Melissa, and Ellie and Claire. We pray for Noah McMillan and his family. We pray, pray for Brookie, um, Randy and Ned's daughter, who's a director of, a, of an assisted living center. Mm -hmm. um, Challenging times. Yes, um, she needs our prayers. We pray for our sister congregation of St. John the Evangelist in Vertientes, Cuba. We, we pray for the expanding work of St. Paul's Mission Committee on Nantucket. And we pray Meals, for, meal program starting tomorrow. We pray for um, the work of the Nantucket, the Community Foundation for Nantucket. Mm. We give thanks for our dear friends Janet and Pat. Um, we pray for Joseph as he begins a new chapter of his life in Maui, and I can see he's already involved out there. Um, we pray Not for um, Missy and for and uh, and for. Uh, the player and his health. We pray for Adam and for his... his Mary and his, Julie. Mary and Julie, our dear friends, Mary and Julie. We pray for um, Adam's pastor, pa uh, Pastor Enoch Fuzz, down in Nashville. His other pastor. His other pastor. <laughs> uh, we pray for my friend Linda and her family. I pray for my dear college roomie, Allison, and her husband, Dave, and their children. We pray for Les Slate and our Block Island friends. Out, uh, love you all. Miss you. We pray for Christine's sister, Lorraine. We pray for Brandon's dad, Jim. Pray for my friend, Sarah, out in uh, Marin County, California. Pray for Sally and Peter up in Concord. We pray for those serving in our armed forces at home and abroad and their families mm. and for Jeff serving our returning troops. Jonathan, our intern, parish intern. I pray for um, dear friends Beth and Sally. We pray for those working to feed people, especially Justine and Megan down in Delaware and Maryland. And we pray for... For um, Chef Mark and for Edna our catering partners for our feeding ministry here at St. Paul's. We pray for Peter, Susie and Steve's son. We pray for Ruth Sayer. We pray for Gail's grandson, John. We pray for Tom's son, Miles. We pray for um, let's see, Jerome McDonald and Susan's nephew, Brian, and for Deb. Recovering from ice. Oh, yeah, How's she doing? Is she okay? I'll find out on Friday. One of my great colleagues from Woodwood's Hole. Um, and we pray. I know there was somebody else. Skylar, Skylar and Paula. Skylar and Paula. Paula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank we, you. We pray for Pete. Beverly and David out of Madiket, too. We pray for Beth's kitty, William. Aww. Oh, we get to find out, too, on Friday about William. <laughs> we pray for our little black cat, Esme. Um, Meatball is uh, missing in action tonight. Well, he's just downstairs. He's chilling. He's just downstairs. We pray for Father Dan. Um, he's been waking up tired. Yeah, it's he hard. We pray for... Um, uh, let's see. Claire and family? Yeah. Claire and family. Yeah. And Gunther and his mom, Maggie. And Priscilla's continued healing, my dear friend Priscilla. Okay. And we pray for um, justice and peace. We. Oui. Thank you very much. Thanks, Holly. All right. Thank you. Now we Thank are Beverly. on the home stretch, page 134, at the bottom of the page in the Book of Common That's Prayer. That's right, Ali. 134, bottom of the page. Let's pray together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom we prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, Ali, St. Luke the Physician, we're finishing up with that tonight. And, um, yeah, you know, one thing about the, you know, the, the miracles of Jesus where he cured people, the biggest part of the cure was bringing people back into community, right? Being sick can be so isolating when we have illness, so isolating. And so thank God for the, the healing aspect of community, uh, being part of a, a family, right? Being part of a wider family is healing. I just wanted mm -hmm. to hold that up, Ollie. Absolutely. Hold that up. Okay, can you put that on? Now? Sure, I can put that on. What do you have for us? So I have a mantra for healing. Oh. It's a little different. Um, it's world music. We don't want different eyes. No. It's um, world music. Oh, that's probably a nice expression. India, from India. It's let's see. It's um, Devantri mantra chants. Okay. Okay. Vasudevaya Dhanvantrayi Amrita Kalasha Hastaya Sarvamaya Vinashanaya Trayidukya Nathaya Shri Mahavishna Venamaha Oh, namo bhagavate vasudevaya 
Love you. Hope you have a sweet, sweet dreams tonight, okay? Join us tomorrow night. Bless you.